Hey guys, welcome to the Kimmy Player channel where we like to talk about all the amazing characters from our favorite fighting games. I know I promised that my next video would be about fighting game nurses, but Capcom has just announced 4 of the 5 characters that are going to be added to Street Fighter V during the next season, and among them is someone I've been asking for pretty much the entirety of this game's life. With Akira Kazama joining the roster, we finally have confirmation that the Rival Schools franchise takes place in the same universe as Street Fighter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see more characters joining the roster in future titles, just like with Final Fight. I know Sakura was present in the first game, to be honest, it was even a major selling point for me at the time, but she wasn't there for the sequel, which, by the way, I still don't understand how it remains an arcade and Dreamcast exclusive, and with a few details in her backstory being different from the ones that we were given in Street Fighter, an argument could have been made that she was more like a guest fighter. Anyways, given the fact that Rival Schools holds a special place in my heart, I even cosplayed as Hayato Neketsu back in the day, I decided to make a video introducing more people to this franchise and Street Fighter V's future DLC character. Like with my previous videos, we'll be going over both Akira's backstory as well as her gameplay mechanics and tier placement. The idea is that you'll leave this video having a solid grasp on who she is and what she could do in her previous titles. Who knows, maybe it will even give us a clue about how she will be implemented in Street Fighter V. But before we get into that, let's take a closer look at Shiritsu Justice Gakuen, or Rival Schools United by Faith, as it is known in the West. The story takes place in a city called Aoharu, where several local schools are the victims of unknown attacks and kidnappings of both students and staff. Eventually, the story reveals that an elite school in the city, Justice High, is responsible for the attacks. The player's team eventually faces off against Raizo Imawano, the principal of the school, and first boss of the game. If certain requirements are met during the fight against Raizo, the story would continue as the player would then head into a true final boss fight against Hyo Imawano, Raizo's nephew and the true mastermind behind the events. Akira's team comes from Gedo High, an all-male school, which is why she wears a helmet to conceal her identity. With a curriculum centered on both knowledge and martial arts, they expected to raise fine and well-behaved men, but Gedo has devolved into a correctional institution for the worst of the worst in Japan, all kept in line by Daigo Kazama, the de facto bancho, aka leader of the delinquents. As for Akira, she is a silent girl who rarely speaks out her thoughts. She may be tough and commanding while wearing her biker outfit, but is a docile and gentle person without it. Akira and her older brother Daigo are orphans, both living in Daigo's home before Akira moved to the Seijun dorms in the sequel. Their parents were friends with a man who owns a garage, who is responsible for teaching Akira all about bikes. Since then she has become quite an expert in the subject, occasionally helping him with repairs. Prior to her initial appearance, she shows up at the last part of Daigo's ending, his story taking place before the events of the game in which Akira herself decides to pose as a boy in order to enter Gedo High, so that she can find out what had happened to Daigo after he had disappeared from within his own personal mission of solving the school kidnappings. She befriends two of Daigo's subordinates, Edge or Eiji and Gun Isurugi, Gun by the way having been covered in a previous video, link in the description, and they eventually defeat the Pacific High students, Roy, Tiffany and Bowman, who were captured and brainwashed by Hideo and Kyoko. The trio then decides to pursue the latter two, only to be stopped and informed by Natsu and Roberto that Hideo and Kyoko were also being controlled by someone linked to Justice High School. After Hyo's defeat, the Gedo High team eventually rescues Daigo, as Akira emotionally reunites with her older brother while speaking in a feminine voice, much to the surprise and shock of Edge and Gun. It is only then that she reveals her true identity, apologizing for having deceived her new friends. Rather than being upset though, Edge and Gun assure Akira that they welcome her to the group and that she's now one of them. The second game takes place a year after, and things have gone back to normal in Aoharu, with the students resuming their normal school lives and enjoying the calm and peace that came after their last adventure. That lasts until Kuro Kirishima, a cold-hearted and ruthless ninja assassin from a mysterious group known only as the Reverse Society, sets his sight on the Imawano family and plans to eliminate them and their allies so that he can prepare for the advancement of his own ambition to rule Japan. Kuro's allies infiltrate the various schools around Aoharu, planting the seeds of distrust between them. He also captures and brainwashes the Gedo High gang leader, Daigo Kazama, so that he can order his crew to attack the others, causing even more tension. Akira, who has now been transferred to the girls-only Seijun High, 
goes on a personal quest to find out what had happened to Daigo, who had suddenly and unexpectedly changed after returning from his personal training journey. She manages to befriend Yurika Kirishima, also covered before in another video, and later on Zaki, with the trio deciding to investigate the new wave of attacks on the local schools after learning of Daigo's sudden change of personality. Eventually they are confronted by a brainwashed Daigo, with Akira failing to snap her older brother out of it. Gun and Eiji, who were also present at the scene, advise her that the only way to help him is to first defeat Daigo in combat. While the battle takes place, Zaki hears a strange whistle noise, not realizing that it comes from Yurika, who was secretly working with her younger brother, Kuro, playing a flute in order to control Daigo's actions. They eventually corner Kuro in a mountain area near just as high, having been led there by Yurika herself, who had a change of heart and decided to help Akira and the others undo Kuro's plan. After Daigo and Kuro are defeated, Akira is told by Yurika that her brother will need to rest for a while before he can fully recover from his brainwashing. The trio then goes to Justice High to finish things once and for all by defeating an unpowered Hyoi Mawano, recently made stronger by Kuro Kirishima. When everything is said and done, Yurika initially leaves Seijun High out of personal guilt for her part in Kuro's plan, but decides to return a while later, being welcomed with open arms by Akira. And that's pretty much everything that happened with Akira during both entries in the Rival Schools franchise. I have absolutely no idea right now as to what her story is going to be in Street Fighter V Champion Edition, but I hope it doesn't involve saving Daigo from a brainwashed incident yet again. I mean, how many times can this guy fall for the same trick? Anyways, with plot out of the way, let's move on to some gameplay discussions. Usually I would just give you a rough idea of Akira's gameplay tactics and tier placement, but given the fact that it's going to be a long time until we have more details about how she will play in Street Fighter V Champion Edition, I thought it would be interesting to review all of her moves. First things first, in the original game Akira shows up in her biker outfit, but you can eventually unlock a second version of her without the helmet. In Project Justice, these roles are reversed, with regular Akira being the default one, and the biker outfit, which is called Powered Akira, being an unlockable fighter. We'll be looking at both these variations, since there's a good chance her Street Fighter version will mix attributes and abilities from both forms. Oh, then just so you know, I'll be using the Japanese names for the moves, since that's how I know them, but I'll add the English names to the video whenever possible. Starting with Seijun Hai Akira then, her party up technique is called Seijun no Tetsui and sees your partners grabbing the opponent's arms and legs before leaping into the air and slamming the victim directly into Akira's fist. It doesn't have a lot of range, but works as a good anti-air attack. Her first special move is called Gaidimon, with Akira charging forward and knocking the opponent into the air. It might look like a mini launcher, but it doesn't quite work the same, as the opponent can recover immediately. The heavy punch version, however, does include a sidestep. Fugakishu is a flip that can be followed with a kick for a knockdown. It kinda looks like Ibuki's heavy Kasumikage, just, you know, not nearly as good. Senshu Bu is a sweeping or flying kick combination that, as an Asuka Kazama main, seems very familiar to me. And finally, there's Hobu, Akira's mini launcher. It can be used in a textbook combo, but since it has such a fast startup, it makes for a great tardy counter as well. A tardy counter, by the way, is a mechanic that allows you to immediately retaliate against your opponent's attack. While you're blocking, all you gotta do is input any command that involves some kind of joystick motion, with a few exceptions. Timing is crucial, but it can make it dangerous to recklessly let out a flurry of attacks against a blocking opponent. For burning vigors, which is what super moves are called in rival schools, Akira has the following options. Kikokai, which can be done in the air, is basically a ball of energy that, again, resembles one of Ibuki's attacks. Not very useful on the ground since it has limited combo capabilities, but it can be good in the air. Hano Rembo is a combo attack that works as a decent tardy counter since it has fast startup. Ten no Rembo, however, is a launcher that does a quick air combo attack. However, since it has slow startup, bad recovery and very limited combo capabilities, it's overall not a very useful move. And finally, Haten Mueishu closes the list, with Akira launching herself leg first at the opponent. Once more, however, this move suffers from slow startup and horrible recovery. When not on deck, Akira's team-up technique is Kyoso Rengekshu, which makes both your character and Akira kick the opponent to each other. It has small range and just average damage. Powered Akira is more or less a carbon copy of her regular self, but she does have a few different techniques that set them apart. Urarimon is an elbow thrust, with the low punch version being fast enough to combo and be used for a tardy counter, 
and the Heavy Punch version being performed after a sidestep. Yoso Saiken is a 2 hit headbutt slash shoulder strike that inflicts heavy damage. This is your ideal combo finisher if you're out of super. Senshubu and Hobu, however, are exactly the same as the versions performed by normal Akira. Hateno Kamai is a big difference. It makes Akira stand on one leg and can be followed up with a few different combos depending on your situation. These can be used to rack up a lot of damage, but the move is slow and does not the most practical thing to use in a battle. Powered Akira has three burning vigors at her disposal. Hanosogeki is a combo attack that is fast enough to be used as a tardy counter in some situations. Tenorembo is the same launcher that normal Akira also has. And Go Kikokai, which can be used in the air, is similar to a technique used by Daigo. Though it's only one hit, it deals massive damage, so it's always your preferred way to finish combos whenever possible. Her team-up technique is Rengeki Rembo, which sees your character grabbing the opponent as Akira comes in to open a can of Wool Pass. It does decent damage and has more range than the one regular Akira uses, so it's a slightly better option. So, now that you're familiar with what both versions of Akira can do, where does she sit in the tier list? Well, I'm afraid the news aren't too good. Both Akiras are, at best, mid-tier characters, but some may say they belong even a little further down the ranks. While powered Akira has easy damage in some of her combos, finding an opening to land her attacks can be quite a challenge. Regular Akira, on the other hand, has a few more shenanigans and setups at her disposal, but her range is just goofy and her crazier combos are a little heavy on the execution side. Everyone I asked and every tier list I found seems to have a different opinion on which of the two Akiras is better, but in all cases they fall pretty close to each other, so the difference is negligible at this point. Tier placement aside though, I'm sure Akira is going to be a very popular character in Street Fighter V once she finally gets released. Who knows, maybe this can even help rival school's chances for a sequel in the future. Anyways guys, that'll be it for me. Thank you so much for watching and if you like the content, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and all those things you're probably familiar with. I know it's a little annoying to keep asking, but they do help a lot, so keep on coming if you can. Also, I might do more singular character videos like this in the future, with or without as many details, so we can always use more opinions to find out what's the best way to deliver my content. Oh, and one more thing, as someone that mostly played the first version of Rival Schools, and usually with Natsu, Ranhibiki or a few other characters that definitely did include Akira, I have to say, it has been really fun doing this research and getting to know her a little better. I would highly recommend these games to everyone that didn't have a chance to play them before, it's a super charming and fun series that I hope to see making a comeback in the future. Okay, that's it, I talked too much already. As always, this has been Edukimi Player, and I'll see you guys later.